Welcome graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Swearingen is the director of our a cappella concert choir. Can we please have the seniors of our a cappella concert choir come forward for the singing of the national anthem? You may be seated. The Lindbergh School's Board of Education is with us this evening. I will ask each of them to stand to be recognized as I call their name. Please hold your applause until the last member has been announced. President Jennifer Miller, Vice President Christy Watts, Secretary Megan Vetter, Treasurer Matt Alonzo, Director Dr. Kathy Carlock Lorenz, Director Mike Shamia, and Director Julia Voss. Also with us tonight are our other honored guests. On the stage, we have Dr. Tony Lake, Superintendent of Schools. And down here to my left, we have Dr. Tara Sparks, Chief Academic Officer. And Joelle Scheibel, Chief Financial Officer. Finally, these students would not be here without the assistance of their outstanding teachers and support staff. If there's one thing I've learned in the last two years, it's how important that personal relationship is between teacher and student. Our teachers guided these students through difficult times none of us could have imagined. And they, more than anyone else in our building, have prepared these young men and women to face the inevitable challenges of the future. Would all Lindbergh School's faculty present tonight please stand and receive the recognition you so thoroughly deserve. A Lindbergh graduation tradition is to recognize those who serve our armed forces, past, present, and future. We will pay tribute to all of our veterans and current members of the armed forces who are with us today. 
Additionally, we would like to recognize the young men and women of the class of 2022 who have committed themselves to serving in the military. I invite our students who are joining the military and those of you who are veterans in the audience to please stand as the Lindbergh High School Symphonic Band plays the song representing your branch of the armed forces. Please allow us all to show our appreciation for your commitment to this nation. The United States Navy. United States Coast Guard. United States Air Force. United States Marines. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our a cappella concert choir directed by Laura Swearingen and our symphonic band directed by David Weiss and Tim Linsenbart will perform America the Beautiful. They will follow this with the school alma mater and the song When Dreams Take Flight by Rollo Dilworth.
is for the school alma mater.
Could we have one more huge round of applause for all of our talented musicians tonight? As our choir members return to their seats, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to now introduce to you the superintendent of Lindbergh Schools, Dr. Tony Lake, who will introduce our senior speakers. Good evening, LHS graduates, family members, friends, and staff. Graduates, tonight we are here to celebrate each of you as you walk across this stage, accept your diploma, and begin the next chapter of your life. Over the past four years, I've been proud to watch your class grow in resiliency, strength, positivity, and flexibility. These traits are going to serve you well in the future. I've especially seen this flexibility from you and your teachers as we've torn up the high school campus and rerouted you outside and through the auditorium and sometimes through mud to get to your classes. Always keeping in mind the bigger picture as we built the new high school. As you leave Lindbergh, our goal for you has never been to prepare you to lead the life you lead at school. Rather, it is to prepare you for the life you will leave, lead once you leave Lindbergh High School. As you face challenges, try new things, I want you to remember this. Being a leader doesn't mean having all the right answers. It's okay to say, I don't know. True wisdom is knowing how to ask the right questions. Parents, teachers, friends, and family, thank you for your contributions you have made in our graduates' lives. These students are prepared academically, but they have also gained valuable life skills that will help them think critically, collaborate with others, communicate effectively, and be creative problem solvers. Tonight's achievements are truly a team effort. As we celebrate our graduates, we also celebrate our entire Lindbergh community who has helped prepare these young adults for a lifetime of future success. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2022. At this time, it is my honor and privilege to introduce our first commencement speaker for this evening, Katherine Adams. Throughout, go ahead, yes, cheer for her, she's awesome. There you go. Throughout all four years at Lindbergh High School, Katherine has dedicated her time and talents to running with the cross country team and the track and field team and playing the violin in the orchestra. Outside of school, Catherine is also involved with the Boy Scouts. And last year, she became the first girl in the Gravois Trail District to earn the prestigious rank of Eagle Scout. Yes, that's awesome. This honor placed her among the first national group of Eagle Scouts Catherine is excited to be heading off to Missouri State University in the fall. Please join me in welcoming Catherine to the stage. Hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you yet again to our graduation ceremony. While in reality, it's just one day, it's also a culmination of four years of hard work, friendship, and plenty of standardized testing. And yet, our high school experience has been different than most generations. I think it would be impossible to get through this speech without mentioning the pandemic. We were lucky enough to get through one full year of high school before the unexpected happened. I remember the feeling of uncertainty. Nobody knew how long it would last. Nobody knew if we would be back at school. Nobody knew how long we would have to quarantine. There weren't many answers to the questions that millions of people had, including us. So we did what humans do best, adapt. We couldn't change the circumstance we were in, but we could change what we did because of it. 
For myself, I took up guitar. I would practice when I was taking a break from my online schoolwork or when I didn't want to, sorry, or whenever I had some free time. It was a comfort, something new to focus on when I didn't want to focus on the outside world. And I think we all found something during the pandemic, something to keep us afloat and keep us sane while we stared at our bedroom walls day after day. The future generations will say we survived a pandemic, but we haven't just survived. We've lived, we've thrived. We've discovered new hobbies, held our dearest friends close, and realized just how much we take for granted in the world. But our class is defined by so much more than our COVID experience. We've become pros at knowing what to wear for spirit weeks. We competed in battle of the classes with the intent to win, and we did. We remember the memory of the math building, which honestly should have been torn down years before we ever used it. And we've been living through the new construction of our high school. We've made TikToks, laughed about the infamous Lindbergh fence, and have grown into ourselves over these past four years. Some of these things were planned, and some of them were not. But a simple phrase that I've been telling myself is something that my cross-country coach would always say to us during tough practices. Adversity is a gift. For us runners, that meant it didn't matter what the conditions outside were. It could be 100 degrees, it could be pouring down rain, or it could even be snowing. On any one of those days, other teams might choose to stay indoors and not run. But when doing so, they lost the chance to get better. So every time I was outside in subpar conditions, through the heat, the rain, and the snow, I remembered that. Adversity is a gift. I became stronger when others chose not to. Now, I took this phrase and started applying it into my everyday life. We can either choose to view things in our lives as insurmountable obstacles, or we can view them as opportunities to improve. The pandemic is something that we chose to overcome when it was thrown at us unexpectedly. We all have become stronger in the face of it. We had no choice but to do the best we could. And I think that this has made this graduating class the most determined, perseverant, and resilient group of people that I have ever met. I challenge all of you to view the roadblocks in your life as opportunities for improvement. Don't take no for an answer. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough. And don't let anyone stop you from being yourself. We all have been through so much together, and we will go through so much more. But just remember, we've lived through a global pandemic. I don't think there's anything we can't do. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Our final commencement speaker this evening is Sam Haberberger. Sam has participated in cross country and theater during his time at LHS. During his senior and junior years, Sam attended the graphic design program at South Tech, where he became Adobe Print Shop certified. In addition, he has met the requirements to become an a scholarship award recipient which includes achieving at least 95% attendance throughout high school and logging at least 50 or more hours of unpaid tutoring. As an A-plus scholarship recipient, Sam will attend St. Louis Community College at Merrimack, tuition-free for two years. After that, he plans to major in graphic design and minor in music production. Please join me in welcoming Sam Haberberger to the stage. Good evening, teachers, administrators, families, and the amazing class of 2022. Before I start, I would first like to thank all the teachers who came through for us over the past four years, and especially over the past two years through these unprecedented times. And I ask all the graduates to please join me in giving all the teachers a round of applause. Now, I don't know if many of you know me. I'm Sam. We went to high school together. I imagine to the people here who do know me, it is entirely unexpected that I would be standing here giving a speech. I have pretty severe anxiety, and I'm on the autism spectrum. 
It's definitely not a normal thing for me to speak in a large setting or even a small setting. I spent most of the past 12 years relatively quiet, hoping to not be noticed. But then I thought, maybe this would be an opportunity to do something unexpected, to shed light on struggles and inspire my classmates before we go into different directions. Everyone, everybody here silently struggles in different areas of life. Whether we like to admit it or not, we all have obstacles. It could be academics, personal life, or even physical. But we don't get through these struggles alone. None of us got here today without a few helping hands along the way. Maybe it was a grandparent studying with you for hours on end for every history exam, or a parent editing your English paper, or a friend helping you with yet another math quiz on Canvas. But if you're wearing a cap and gown out there today, that means you've climbed your personal mountain and you're a graduate at Lindbergh High School. As Charles Dickens wrote, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And I have to ask, has that quote ever been more appropriate for a graduating class? I think it's fair to say that our class had a high school experience unlike any before us. We inhaled around 80,000 pounds of pizza and cheeseburgers for free lunch. We all experienced the joy of dodging construction for years without reaping any of the benefits of the soon to be open, amazing state of the arts facilities. Yeah, that worked out great for all of us, didn't it? And we somehow survived a pandemic and virtual school. We went from hugging each other and saying hi to the hallways to not seeing each other at all for almost a full year to seeing each other with masks on to finally being back to normal for our final semester together. But you know what? We're better for having gone through it. We've learned how to foster relationships through these tough times. And now it's time to step out into the world of the unknown. But don't fear the unknown, embrace it. Do the unexpected. We all have an opportunity. Now is our time to find or pursue our passions. Now is our time to leave a legacy. When we think about legacy, my hope for all of us is that we don't think about it in terms of likes or followers or popularity. Instead, I hope the legacy we all strive for is leaving those we encounter a little happier. A legacy of kindness, of being a good friend, of giving a helping hand to someone who needs it. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. How will the graduates in this room use the education to change the world? After you've left, how will people remember you? How will they tell your story? As we go out into the world and go after our dreams and pursue our passions, I hope we all remain focused on what success in building a legacy really looks like. Your legacy is the indelible mark you leave behind when you're gone. Your legacy lives in the kindness and stories of compassion etched to them in the minds and hearts of those around you. In life, success is a friend reaching out when you most need it. Success is spreading a little happiness and hope. It's giving back to the community we've been so blessed to come from. It's knowing that even one person has breathed easier because of you. As the great Ted Lasso said, success isn't about wins and losses. It's about being the best version of yourself. It's not always easy, but neither is growing up without someone believing in you. So thank you to all the people out here today who ceaselessly believe in me. And thank you to all the family, friends, and faculty here today who have believed in these graduates. We're here because of you. Over these past crazy, crazy few years, all of you in this room have shown that you are capable of taking on any obstacle that may lay ahead in your life. You've all faced a unique, challenging high school experience, and you've prevailed created memories, experienced success, and began to establish your legacy. C.S. Lewis once said, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. So look ahead with optimism. Be the good that you want to see in the world. I am so thankful to have graduated with this incredible group of people. Look around. Seriously, look to your left and right. Each and every one of you has impacted someone else's life in this room. I wish you all a great and fun journey ahead doing unexpected things, having the kind of success that can change the world, and building a legacy to be proud of. Thank you. Eventually, yes. I'll tell you when. 
Thank you, Catherine and Sam. Outstanding job. On the last day of school for our seniors this year, I had the honor of visiting Long Elementary School and watching our seniors celebrated by both students and staff as they paraded through the halls of the building they attended during their primary years of their education. Our first ever senior parade through all elementary schools provided a perfect opportunity for reflecting upon the journey these students have taken over the last 13 years. Graduates, I'm sure many of you remember that combined sense of dread, anticipation, and excitement on the first day you walked into a kindergarten class. It is likely that many of you are feeling that same sense of uncertainty now for what this next chapter will bring. Let me assure you that I firmly believe that no group of students has been better tested for the trials of life than the class of 2022. I'm not sure there's ever been a group of students in the history of this school who has had to overcome as much turmoil and disruption as you have over the last four years. Each graduating class has their own collective and individual challenges, but I doubt any group of educators has had to ask as much of their students as we have asked of you. Unlike the other classes that have gone through this difficult stretch, you had a taste of what school was like before the pandemic, and you experienced every single related impediment along the way. When you entered our halls for your freshman orientation, you held the same optimism as most classes before you, with perhaps a little extra dose of mischief. You guys were rough freshman year, I gotta be honest with you. As you progress into your sophomore year, you showed the same increased maturation that we expect to see in every class of students. And then the unthinkable happened. We left for spring break and we did not return. Athletic seasons were lost, friends were separated, and the normal operations of a school had to be completely redefined. Your junior year was dominated by more hardships, learning from your bedroom, trying to master difficult academic concepts and maintain social connections through the screen of a computer, watching with frustration as many of the milestone high school events were either altered or canceled. And yet, you rarely complained, you strived to continue your academic growth, and your adaptability was fortified daily by the experience. When this year began, the same look of hope and optimism we saw in ninth grade had returned to your faces at least the parts of your faces we could see. We recognize your determination to make your final year of school one that you would hope to remember, to recapture so much that had been lost and to protect the pivotal experiences that make high school such a joyous time in the lives of so many. Prom, homecoming, the battle of the classes assembly, power lunch, and the green and gold events. In many ways, this year was spent reestablishing the traditions of our school and redefining the culture of what it means to be a flyer. Over the course of your four years, you had no choice but to walk with us into an unknown darkness, but you were pivotal in inspiring us all back into the light. With each achievement, you reminded us that in spite of the hurdles and setbacks, you were all capable of that academic promise you showed during your first year. You infused each Lindbergh event with a renewed sense of spirit that had been lost. In the end, I cannot tell you how proud I am of this class for how you finished your journey and arrived at this destination. I told you all before your senior photo something that continued to be true until the very end. While this year brought with it some of the lingering difficulties of the last two years, I could always count on the class of 2022 to do the right thing and to hold the rest of our student body to the highest standards. As we transition this summer into a new building, sorry, you will be the final class to attend the old Lindbergh High School. While you may not ever attend a class in the new building, there is no doubt that your impact on the culture and tradition of this school will permeate the halls and leave a lasting legacy for years to come. I personally thank you for all you have done to make these last four years so memorable, and I look forward to hearing about your many accomplishments in the future. To all of you with us tonight, let me offer a few highlights that show what these individuals have accomplished. This class includes nine National Merit semifinalists, two National Merit commended students, and nine IB diploma candidates, 59 Missouri Bright Flight recipients, 62 students eligible for the seal of biliteracy, 15 early college students who are graduating tonight with their associate's degree already completed. 
multiple recognitions in the Science Olympiad, HOSA, DECA, and FBLA, an Envirothon team that qualified to compete this summer at nationals, and several state journalism awards. In leadership, we had individual students serving on local advisory boards for the St. Louis Youth Leadership Council and the Federal Reserve Board. Further, one senior was recognized with the Distinguished Leader Award for student councils. In the arts, there were nine students who signed to perform in college, four all-state band members, three all-state orchestra members, a state-recognized quartet of vocal performers, several students recognized for their pursuits in visual art, including the Mannequins in the Loop exhibit that is currently taking place, countless productions, parades, and concerts that entertain the community and served as a great way to learn new skills. On the athletic field, we had senior state qualifiers or medalists in cross country, swimming, tennis, and track. Over 30 athletes recognized as all conference, 28 student athletes signed to compete in college athletics, a fourth place finish in boys tennis at state, a cheerleading team that qualified to compete at state, an overall varsity record of 208 and 168 across all programs, a sixth place finish in kick for the Flyrettes at nationals, nearly undefeated seasons for both girls lacrosse and field hockey, and finally, our baseball team will be competing in the state final four this Saturday at 10 a.m. at U.S. Ballpark in Ozark, Missouri. Would the board president, Jennifer Miller, please join me at the podium. Before presenting the class of 2022 to you for graduation, I would like you, the Board of Education, and all of our guests with us tonight to hear just how successful they are. 56.4% of these students will be attending a four-year college. 17.8% will be attending a two-year college. 4% attending technical schools. 1.1% joining the military. 15.7% are going right into the workforce. 5% are taking a gap year, and they have earned collectively a total of $16,227,271 in scholarship money. Congratulations, class of 2022. We are very proud of your accomplishments and excited for your future. Will the class of 2022 please stand? Ms. President, each member of the class of 2022 has been duly certified by Lindbergh High School as having met all requirements of the Missouri State Department of Elementary and Secondary Education and of Lindbergh Schools. Ms. President, Lindbergh Schools Board of Education, and Dr. Lake, please accept these young men and women as the newest graduates of Lindbergh High School. It is now my pleasure to present this class to you as ready to be graduated. Please be seated. As president of the Lindbergh Schools Board of Education, it is with great pride that I accept and approve the class of 2022 as official graduates of Lindbergh High School. Graduates, the Board of Education, and our entire Lindbergh community are extremely proud of each of you and your accomplishments. When you enter the stage, please come to the, the middle to receive your diploma, have your picture taken, and exit through the stairs at the center. And at this time, we'll be be we will begin the presentation of diplomas. Congratulations and good luck. Yasmin Rose Abusharbin.
Douglas Patrick Adams. Catherine Grace Adams. Noah Thomas Adams. Elizabeth Aziza Agnew. Alexis Anna Aguilar. Jenna Salah Ahmad. Mohammed Amar Alter. Saif Sinan Alamir. Jake Howard Alshansky. Disha Amin. Christopher David Amons. Sophie Jean Anderson. Gianna Marie Anderton. Katarina Anzik. Matthew Thomas Applebaum. Kylie Shea Arling. Cecilia Marie Arnold. Tyler Christian Asher. Aaron Marie Astroth. Emmeline Diane Ijamis. Avery Ruth Abishan. Sarah Louise Auer. Cohen Douglas Babstebner. Ali Baramovich. Seldar Byrich. Jackson Alexander Baker.
Alexander James Balbo. Blake Landon Baldez. Brock Philip Barger. Maya Eve Barker. Evelyn Jean Barr. Thomas Sebastian Bobblesick. Morgan Taylor Beatty Thurman. Aiden Martin Beck. Ashley Jean Beck. Gabriella Marie Perez Becker. Kira Kathleen Bainan. Rami Hassan Ben Makir. Theodore Robert Bender. Nathan Alexander Benson. Alexander Robert Bentrup. Molly Elizabeth Berg. Kerrigan Michaela Bess. Anna Gabriella Burke. Bryce Timothy Blankenship. Grant Joseph Blessing. Ella Catherine Bloom. William Henry Blumenkemper. Mariah Nicole Board. Elizabeth Grace Boaz. Luke Christian Boaz. Kira Nicole Bogeman. Tyler Lee Boone. (laughs) 
Azaria Zaria Booth. Tyler David Borneman. Ellen Hartman Bowes. Andrew Scott Brooks. Ethan Scott Branham. Samuel Stewart Bride. Jordan Elizabeth Breitenstein. Samuel William Britton. Benjamin Thomas Broadwell. Brooke Margaret Brown. John Thomas Bruin. Mia Josephine Buckles. Oliver Buck. John Carl Budd. Blake Michael Burris. Rachel Diane Byerly. Samuel Robert Caldwell. Emily Christine Calhoun. Dominic Charles Camilleri. Mackenzie Michelle Kennedy. Isabella Marie Capriglioni. Kylie Elena Carr. Marina Francesca Ling Sean Su Casaregola. Andres Joaquim Castello. Joseph Anthony Catalano. Maya Kaus. (laughs) 
Casey Sella. Cyrus Savitri Joseph Kaywood Chester. Makund Chirabaram. Nicholas Alexander Chiodini. Isla Civic. Reagan Lavinia Cleves. Raina Nadine Clements. Audrey Elizabeth Claremont. Hayden Moore Cochran. Caitlin Anne Marie Cockrell. Emily Rose Cole. Joshua Benjamin Cole Hudson. Devin James Collier. Abby Lee Combs. Ava Nicole Cordner. Mia Paige Cornell. Marie Claire Josephine Costa. Gabriel Hunter Courtney. Taylor Marie Cross. Julia Lee Datis. Elsa Haruko Wilson Davenroy. Elena Rose Davis. Lauren Elizabeth Davis. Tanner Joseph Davis. Samantha Evelyn Davitt. <laughs> Sophie Ray Decker.
Jaden Curtis, Dakota. Jacob George Dieter. Paige Elaine DeGuire. Ashley Olivia Dickey. Alan Dizdarovich. Mary Margaret Dorsey. Kaylee Pamela Doty. Gavin Lowell Dowding. Caitlin Rose Doyle. Riley Michelle Dreggy. Mia Natali Dumovic. Olivia Grace Dole. Charlotte Julia Donacek. Adam Zachariah Dunlop. Adam Ross DuPont. Caitlin Diane Duval. Jessica Ann Early. Logan Ray Eves. Jacob Allen Ernesty. Gabriel Joseph Effen. William Joseph Elder. Hannah Nihad Elmansi. Jenna Nihad Elmansi. Emily Marie Elsner. Michael Robert Emmert. William Henry Emmert. Elijah Lloyd Emery. Grace Luisa Emiliani Lucas.
Joshua Eli Schaefer Entrip. Macy Elizabeth Evans. Ella Christina Ewing. Jasmine Kate Fairbanks. Ida Xu Fan. Garrett Albert Ferguson. Zoe Abigail Ferguson. Amber Nicole Fialka. Dorothy Noreen Fife. Josie Elizabeth Fisher. Justice Marie Fitzgerald. Allison Nicole Flannery. David Stephen Fletcher. Andros Jesus Flores. Catherine Nicole Flores. Reagan Ann Felsch. Zachary Thomas Forcell. Alicia Nicole Ford. Derek Lewis Gagan. Corinne Elizabeth Fox. Kelsey Irene Fraley. Gwendolyn Riley Francis. Tegan Frisbee. Brooke Elizabeth Fuchs. Micaiah Grace Gaynor. Katja Valentina Gamblin.
Isaac Lucas Gam. Alexis Jade Geiser. Caitlin Nicole Gendron. Colin James George. Emma Catherine George. Jacob Glenn Gettemeyer. Ava Grace Giles. Macy Elizabeth Gillick. Joseph Paul Aguho Glazer. Morgan Patricia Goodrich. Adelaide Grace Goss. Erica Akina Grant. John Joseph Gray, Jr. <laughs> Hannah Taylor Grayson. Andrew Garrett Greeno. Gavin Robert Grempler. Andrew Cole Grice. Owen Michael Griffin. Quentin Maurice Griffin. Amina Grozanik. William Michael Jurasek. Samuel Mark Haberberger. Blake Anthony Haynes. Alyssa Suzanne Hamby. Donald Hansen. <laughs> Cheyenne Nicole Rose Hart. <laughs> Jay
Jalen Chanesia Harris. Macy Lee Harris. Jackson David Hart. Elizabeth Grace Hartley. Jaden Alexander Hartman. Jake Andrew Hartman. <laughs> Nina Howe. Blake William Haver. Josiah Donald Hawkins. Molly Elizabeth Heavey. Samuel Jacob Hagel. Claudia Jean Heathman. Thomas Andrew Heisner. Isabella Leona Jean Hendricks. Ashley Christina Henning. Yeah, Ashley! <laughs> Paige Christine Herbst. <laughs> Parker Grace Herbst. Alexis Raquel Hernandez. <laughs> Jacob Timothy Hurdle. Caitlin Nicole Hurdle. Abigail Jewel Hessler. <laughs> Mia Elise Huberger. Jenna Grace Hill. <laughs> Cecilia Rose Hoff. Austin Cole Hofius. David Michael Hogan.
Henry Joseph Holdenreed. Tyrus Elijah Hosner. Aiden Ross Houston. Anthony Neil Huffman. Derek James Hutchison. Gianni Michael Ionazzo. Joseph Chandler Jackson. Corbin Traco Rish Jackson. Grant Matthew Jager. Peyton Anthony Jaggy. Colin Devereaux Jameson. Catherine Helen Jakes. Owen Connor Jeffcoat. Malia Page Jenkin. Shua Jun. Alexandra Marie Johnson. Cole Thomas Johnson. Elijah Forrest Johnson. Nathan Weiss Johnson. Elizabeth May Jorstadt. Madeline Marie Joseph. Kyra Anik Jossi. Adelisa Marie Yusik. Jack David Kaiser. Holly Kathleen Colota. Nathan James Kane. Cashel Lewis Cavanaugh.
Brady Allen Kelly. Madeline Marie Joseph. Grant Edward Kennedy. Samuel Dean Kennedy. Natalie Nicole Kern. Alex Faith Kilker. Brian Sung Hwan Kim. Kirsten Hope Kimball. Isabel Renee Kirchhofer. John Elliott Kite Jr. Natalie Michelle Klum. Miles Owen Joseph Kopp. Andrew John Kozlowski. Yeah. Carter Dean Kramer. <laughs> Alex J. Kraus. Lily Elizabeth Kruger. Danielle Kyle. El Arabella Cucurola. Dominic John Liberta the second. <laughs> Broyer Jane Lamb. <laughs> Gabriel Chase Lancia. Simon William Langley. Matthew Vincent Lankford. Andrew Dale LaRosa. Darren Tehard Lawrence. Yeah. 
Sarah Pauline Lawrence. Anthony Sun Lee. Jared Christopher Least. Nella Una Lalich. Audrey Jane Lewis. Violet Lewis. Bethany Sandra Lewis. Landon Gregory Lewis. Marissa Lynn Lieberman. Marshall Dylan Lieberman. Edith Michelle Liebertru. Elsa Sterk Linger. Travis Aaron Lokirko. Stephanie Lopez. Lucia Audrey Lorenz. <laughs> Olivia Grace Lowe. Sierra Marie Lucas. Matthew Kenneth Ludwig. <laughs> Peyton May Lundry. Morgan Amanda Lynham. Robert Gabriel Lyons. Emma Grace Maddock. Kayla Brianne Malavolti. Dominic James Marino. Madison Reese Martin. Nathan Robert Martinez. Yeah. 
Ethan Lynn Mason. Vin Gregory Doan Mathis. Reagan Alexandra Madison. Jillian Lee Mayberry. Benjamin Joseph Mayer. Byron Deshawn McDowell. <laughs> Lauren Grace McElroy. Xander Michael McCamey. Matthew Gerald McKean. <laughs> Jeremy Thomas McMichael. <laughs> Ryan James McMullen. Alicia Rose McNulty. Angela Page McPike. Daniel Owen McVeigh. Emmanuel Joy Mead. Jane Lenahan Meadows. Carlos Scott Mejia. Luke Andrew Melton. Evie Mene. Matthias Benyam Mangus. Colin Raymond Menemeyer. Avery Allison Meyer. Haley Autumn Meyer. Diodone Bailey Bellamy Mfame. Jacqueline Dempsey Middlebrooks. Emma Ray Mikesh.
Connor Thomas Mickiton. Edwin Yuho Miller. Krista Marie Miller. Sophia Rose Miller. Xander Joseph Mobley. Samuel Kenneth Monty. Alyssa Ann Moody. Emma Grace Moran. Samantha Esmeralda Marino. Henry Ryan Moriarty. Aiden Christopher Murillo. Lucas Owen Moritz. Evan Richard Morrow. Luke Xavier Morrow. Maria Gray Mosher. Ethan Michael Miller. Elijah Zachary Myers. Viosin Kane Murtai. Alexia Monica Nastasia. <laughs> Michael Joseph Neef. <laughs> Chloe Jan Nelson. Anthony Hung Wen. Brianna Taylor Wen. Jaden Van Wen. Peter Wen. Clive Tingting Wen. Robert Connor Nichols.
Daniel Gerard Nickel. Mace Orion Nichols. Katherine Nicole Nineman. Nicholas David Norman. John Michael Nunley. Morgan Riley O'Brien. Mitchell William Oldham. Anastasia Nicole Olson. Benjamin James Opals. Eric Todd Ostrom. Elaine Grace Ottens. Nathaniel Hampton Owens. Faith Sky Nicole Page. Rosa Elizabeth Page. Jasmina Peitch. Rishi Jitendra Patel. Ashton Scott Patrick. Aiden Jax Peck. Matthew Wayne Pellage Jr. Jonathan Colby Pence. Evelyn May Penrod. Sergio Peppa. Karis Rebecca Peters. <laughs> Olivia Erlen Pfeiffer. Molly Catherine Phelan. <laughs> William Logan Phoenix. <laughs> Alexander Valerian Higginbotham Fikarski.
Tristan Alexander Pieper. Mackenzie Drew Pike. Madeline Nicole Peichel. Cole James Plasmeyer. Andrew Thomas Poli. Eric Daniel Polovina. Jasper Rain Portwood. Maxwell Ray Pratt. Zachary Kenneth Priest. Aaliyah Marie Pike. Marissa Lila Louise Rabbit. Rowie Randleman. Matthew Stephen Rare. Spencer Carl Rigers. Eliana Resendis. Kylie Elizabeth Reuter. Mason Lawrence Ribble. John Francis Reese. Avra Marie Riesenberger. Tayana Trine Savage. Lydia Grace Roberts. Elijah James Robinson. Michaela Isabel Roche. Peyton Alexander Rodriguez. Grace Christine Rogers. Raphael Michael Rolls. Dorothy Ann Romer.
Liliana Amari Romero. Marissa Renee Rudloff. Dylan Lawrence Reuter. Devin William Rusco. Jack Francis Russell. Carissa Rose West Saddle. Aimina Shikanovich. Angel Sanchez. Alexander Edward Sanderlin. Carter Lee Sanderson. Jacob Mario Sanflippo. Allison Page Santa Stephen. Thomas Sepkota. Isabel Aaron Sapp. Jordan Danielle Sofnauer. Emma Catherine Schmidt. Nicole Christina Schmidt. Colin Nicholas Schne Schneider. Nathan Victor Schneider. Russell Anthony Schneiders. Devin Scott Schrader. Sarah Marie Schrader. Luke Anthony Sears. Vincent Xavier Seeker. Grace Jane Sealiner. Aiden Kumar Sengupta. (Applause) 
Ajit Kumar Sengupta. Sujit Kumar Sengupta. Benjamin Joseph Shepherd. Tucker David Short. Caleb Michael Simmons. Ella Margareta Singleton. Malachi Tanner Skiles. Elena Kathleen Skubik. Joseph Daniel Slane. Alexa Lynn Smalling. Esther Amity Smith. Elizabeth Shea Smith. Jacqueline Ann Smith. Joshua Jack Smith. Kirk Ethan Smith. Larry Demetrius Smith II. Michelle Renee Smith. Nathaniel Alexander Smith. Samuel Owen Smith. Emma Kayleen Snydecki. Amina Softich. Abigail Kathleen Solomon. Bella Grace Solomon. Sophie Lee Sowell. Adriana Marie Spangler. Kara Lynn Spradling. (laughs) 
Jade Lynn Spruell. Gavin Michael St. Jem. Anissa Stavry. Iona Stavry. Colton Taylor Stefanski. Audrey Renee Steffen. Benjamin Richard Selkin. Alexis Nicole Stevens Tucker. Anna Louise Stetzel. Cole Michael Stevenson. Avery Lane Stewart. Tyler John Stimson. Jacob Michael Steinbrook. William Anthony Stockman. Reagan Allison Stokes. Arthur Joseph Sullivan. Jacob Richard Somerville. Lily Aurora Ann Swanson. Nathaniel Christopher Swiderska. Quinn Patrick Sweeney. Elena Ann Swenson. Alexis Nicole Taylor. Isabel Noel Taylor. Jalen Quinn Thacker. Emma Grace Thomas. Kennedy Ruth Thomas. Sydney Lore Thomas.
Grace Mengbean Thompson. Allison Margaret Thompson. Margaret Tissel. Julianne Toe. Stefan Tomicic. Tyler Ference Toweth. Brandon High Dang Trong. Antonio Vincent Tucci. Isaac Draven Toon. Brenna Elizabeth Turner. Thomas Theodore Turner. Sophia Helen Unziker. Cassandra Marie Usina. Lauren Carol Mancardo. Melissa Velich. <laughs> Henry Alexander Vieus. <laughs> Gabrielle Nina Vitali. Romy Lee Vivret. John Theodore Volman. Mary Kathleen Volman. Elijah Jeremy Wallace. Yeah! I did it, Mom! <laughs> Natalie Grace Warner. Andrea Grace Waters. Benjamin Timothy Watkin Wars. Jordan Jarrell Watts. Enrique Valen. Hannah Renee Wehrman. Rachel Yushen Wei.
Fallon Elizabeth West. Austin James Wharton. Elijah James Wheaton. DeAndre James White. Lauren Ann White. McCoy Marie White. Amelia Grace Whitwell. Hannah Elizabeth Wilhite. Thomas Joseph Willerth. Daniel Ivan Williams. Jaden Amari Williams. Jordan Zachary Williams. Samuel Matthew Williams. Isabella Scarlett Winkler. Samuel Aiden Winterer. Deja Michelle Winters. Michael Thomas Witt. Ella Rose Wolford. Mary Savannah Walter. Evan William Wood. Luke Adam Woodley. Madeline Ray Woods. Jalen K. Jewel Wright. Luke Anthony Wyrick. Jennifer Zakio. Jackson Lawrence Zabel. Layla Zekin. Isabella Zanelli. Yeah. 
Matthew Colin Zigring. Charlotte Elise Zink. Benjamin Nicholas Zipfel. Victor, Victor Del Zornata. John Godwin Zeich. John Zyke has a lot of family here tonight. I didn't know that. Okay, I'll try to keep it to the allotted 45 minutes, Dr. Cochran, but I can't promise anything, okay? All right, before we begin our ceremonial turning of the tassels, there are a few very important individuals that I'd like to recognize. First, Ms. Sarah Doza, can you give the crowd a wave for me? Without Ms. Doza's guidance, support, and mind for logistics and planning, none of this would be possible. She planned this graduation while also planning her daughter's wedding, which is next week, so she is very excited to move on to the next excitement, so congratulations for you. To the teachers who have worked with these students over the last four years, and some since elementary school, they have treated these students as their own and influenced them to become the people that they are today. So thank you to all of our Lindbergh staff that have worked with these students the last 18 years. To the LHS faculty members who made this evening possible, they worked with our students and got 555 kids lined up in alphabetical order. Jennifer Witzig and Laura Thomas, thank you for all of your hard work in organizing our graduates for tonight's ceremony. Rob Draghi and Mary Groby, pronouncing 555 names for this graduation ceremony, thank you. Nailed it. <laughs> and to your wonderful counselors who have worked with you every step of the way, Christy Kinsler, Dr. John Reithmeyer, and Kate Keegan, thank you for all that you do. Okay. When we have children, people say it takes a village. And tonight, graduates, you are surrounded by your village. So please take a second and find your people. I think you know where they are. And on three, we are going to say thank you. Are you ready? On three, say thank you. One, two, three. <laughs> your family and friends are as proud as you are of yourself. They are beaming, watching you accomplish such a feat. We are proud of you. You are surrounded by love tonight, and we are just excited to see all of the things that you will accomplish. I've been so grateful to work with this class. You guys are amazing to watch. You're fun to be around. You're passionate. And watching you discover who you are and who you want to be has been a true pleasure for me. So thank you for letting me be a part of your lives the last couple years. As you enter into the next phase of your lives, remember, no matter how many diplomas, positions, or money you might have, the way that you treat people is what defines your education. Leading with kindness and empathy will always leave those around you better than when you found them. Now, go out there and make us proud, as we know that you will, and I'm going to invite your class officers to the stage, and they will help us in the turning of the tassels. So guys, come on up. That was under 45 minutes, right? We're good? Okay, good. All right. Our class officers are going to introduce themselves, and then they will lead us through the turning of the tassels. Hi, everyone.
everyone. I'm Mia Buckles, and I'm one of the senior class officers. Hello, my name is Brian Kim, and I'm the vice president for this class. Hi, my name is Ella Wolford, and I'm the senior class president. Hi, my name is Mitch, and I'm the other senior class officer. Let us now turn our tassels together so we are officially graduated. Ready? What do we say? One. Feel free to stand up, graduates. One. And on three, you will toss your caps. All right, ready? ready? Whoa. Three, two, two one. one. One, two, three. Do you do that? That completes our... Okay.